Hey guys, I woke up this morning and felt like doing resin. I haven't done it in months and I have this idea for a partial resin pour on a canvas. I'm going to explain my idea after. I'm going to start by showing you the products that I'll be using. I took out all of these Artworks resin pigments and I'm super excited because they're all colors that I love. So first off, there's the Passion Top cell white so this is all by artworks resin this is to help to create effects now all of these colors i've never used them before violet oh, so pretty purple passion it looks like black but oh you can see the hint of purple there it's very dark the person who sent me these obviously knew that my favorite color was purple Violet Interference, interesting. Dark Mushroom. Okay, it looks like a taupe, a very dark taupe. Teal Vortex, Passion Black, and some Rich Gold. Okay, so now this is a 24 by 36 inch canvas. This is the painting that I did in my Simple is Best 7 video. Now, I imagine some of you are like, oh my god, what is she doing, ruining that? But listen, it's about two or three years old. It's been for sale on my website since, and I've never sold it, and it's perfect for what I want to try to do today. So, screw it. The goal is to have this little, listen, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but this is what I'm trying, okay? I gave myself some guidelines of where I want to leave bare, and I'm going to be doing this through, um, like, on many days, okay? I prepared 14 ounces, approximately, of resin, and because it's on a canvas, the resin is going to be too heavy, and it might move to the center so i'm not going to be pouring like crazy today i'm just going to use a small amount and the goal is to like it's okay if it's not perfect and all leveled i want there i want there to be texture and different levels and that's why i'm going to be sort of like experimenting here and layering this over i don't know how many days or trials but i do i want the lines i don't want all the different colors to be all blended in too much you know you see this who cares? It doesn't matter because I'll be layering on top. This is like, it's only the beginning, you guys. So I'm going to shut up now and concentrate and um, put some music on.
too. I prepared more and I want to fill everything up completely today. Loving this blue. Okay, I have some clear and I put some of the purple and I'm just gonna not mix it completely, just like that. Okay, now I know I said at the beginning I didn't want to blend everything in and it seems like I'm blending everything in, but I'm just going with the flow and following what I feel like doing in the moment, okay? And this is also a base. Like I know that tomorrow or whatever, the next time that I pour, I'm gonna be pouring streaks on top of this. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just going to torch I'm going to bring you guys in four hours later so you can see what happened on its own I didn't do anything, I left, I came back and check it out, we got a bunch of really cool reactions. Some cells and some lacing. These really look like fluid painting acrylic effects, but it's all resin. The only difference is it's a million times harder to film. And it's so much darker in reality, you guys.
much, you guys. So it seems like my camera is sort of cut off while I was blow drying. But anyways, I was just like moving the resin back and forth and just having fun with it. Now, my favorite reaction was this freaking pretty purple here. Oh my god, I just can't get enough of that purple. But um, all these effects and stuff, they're pretty, but it's not really what I was going for at the beginning. I wanted streaks, you know? So I'm still picturing this at the moment as a background to add more streaks onto. I haven't used the gold yet. So um, I'm just going to try and add, take some of the resin that fell on the sides and fix my sides and I'm going to torch this and that's going to be enough for today. And I just realized I didn't tape the back. <laughs> oh man. This is a few days later. And as expected, the weight of the resin pushed the resin towards the middle. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not really liking what I did there with the blow dryer. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy that it pushed it towards the center because I got some really cool effects. But the general look, the way it looked before the blow dryer, even though it was fun and all, I preferred it before. Now I'm going to show you what I did. I added some support underneath, you see? Um, a styrofoam there. And it's pretty, the size is pretty perfect actually. So it's going to be um, more straight. Now why didn't I do that before? Just because I didn't feel like it. I really wanted to see the movement and what would happen with the resin. And this is really a great experiment. I've got some cool stuff and some less cool stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to my initial idea and I'm just gonna add some more streaks of color. Any ideas?
back with my final result. This is my final resin result. I still have some little touch-ups on the canvas. I have a ton of stuff to remove from the back of it. I'm thinking of maybe putting some crystals. Not sure about that yet, but the overall look, this is what I was going for. A bunch of lines and crookedness and negative space with colors and effects and different textures. Okay, I'm gonna go in for you guys. I'm gonna try my best to film this for you, but it won't be easy. Loving how the blue looks like plastic. This part here is pretty sick. That gold with the purple. Oh my God. Now I did um, struggle with my blue here on the edge. It kept going over. So I came back and removed it with alcohol and paper towels but I ended up saving it. That's where I would like to put crystals actually, is all maybe through the outline, just a line here of crystals and on the other one, on the other side too here. Just a thought, let me know what you guys think. Is that a good idea? I think it would be a good idea and these would be the crystals that I would use like purple-ish with some white ones too. Another sort of beginner mistake that I did was um, cover up parts that I wanted to keep, that I liked, you know? But I just, I have to try it more often to get used to this layering thing. So here we have it, partial resin pour experiment in layers. This was fun and I like the colors. Hope you guys like this too. Have a good one.